Hey everyone, this is Business Beauty Kayla. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome and I'm glad to see you. And if you're returning, welcome back. Good to see you again. I'm excited to share my deluxe box for January 2024 from Jane's Agenda and do a quick setup also. Um, with the holidays coming, I really absolutely love my December setup, but I won't be using that particular planner that much during the holiday week. So I decided that while I had a few spare moments before the holidays hit, that I'll go ahead and set my January box, January setup. And that way, once the holidays are kind of um, um, ceasing, then I'll be able to be ready to use my January. So here we go. And I'm going to just jump right in. This box is absolutely gorgeous. Um, she has three different subscription boxes, one being the monthly cover club, and then the planner lifestyle box, and then the deluxe one. So this um, first thing is just a card, kind of a note to us, January, 2024. And it gives us a tour of everything that's in the box. I have opened them so you don't have to listen to me go through a ton of the crinkling and paperwork. So, the paper, so I'm going to push it aside and share what's inside. So these first three items are the items that come with the monthly cover club. Oops, and I did not open this one. All right, so this one, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I always love everything that comes in these boxes. This one is the Page Finder. It's really, really pretty. It's got this, it's a clear one, but those colors on that butterfly are amazing. And then it says the word flourish on it. So I like that. And then as part of the monthly cover club, you also get a plastic cover or a dashboard set, depending on which one you choose. And so this is a nice, looks very nice. Let me see if I can catch it with not as much glare, 2024. And then there's a quote that says, what the caterpillar calls the end, the rest of the world calls a butterfly. Very, very pretty. And then the back of that is another quote and it's pretty. I hope that in this year to come, you make mistakes because if you're making mistakes, then you're making new things, trying new things, learning, living, pushing yourself, changing yourself, changing your world, you're doing things you've never done before. And more importantly, you're doing something by Neil Gaiman. Wow, that's very profound and so relevant going into a new year. Can't wait to put this on there. And then part of the monthly cover club is a cardboard dashboard set. And so we have this gorgeous peacock. And it's so pretty in person. It can't even, doesn't even describe what we saw in the St. Peaks, but seeing it in person, the colors are so vivid. So there's that front and back, or front. And then you also have the other side that has more of the abstracts, which are really, really, really pretty. So I could see this being a layer like this potentially, or maybe something like this as well. So I like that you have so many options to put together. All right, so let's look at some of the other things that are inside of the deluxe box. So it looks like we have, and apparently I didn't open everything as I thought I did, but we'll get to them. We have some inserts, some budget planner inserts, which are really nice going into a new year. So, oh, it looks like we have for the entire month. Oh, thank you, Jane, that's awesome. So it's a kind of like a monthly budget overview, really nice. And then on the back, just taking some notes. So I think it's always good to reflect on how you did some spending and things like that. So that way you can make adjustments as needed. And then next is a bill tracker. And I do a lot of this electronically, but I can definitely see how I might be able to use these. So I'm excited just to have these inserts. So tracking some of your bills. And I might even go through and look at some of the ones that are um, more infrequent, so that way I don't miss them. So these are awesome inserts as well. And plenty of space 
she gave us um, definitely a, several, so I like that we have some um, room to do these. And then there's bill, date, day due, and the minimum payment. So that's really cool. I love these inserts. I will be using those. And then the last one in here was a debt tracker. And I actually just um, had a meeting with my spouse and we were talking about how we want to pay off a few projects going into 2024. So this is actually going to be perfect. And I was just tracking it on a piece of paper. So now I'll be able to add that on here. So I really, really like these. These are awesome. So there's one for each of the quarters. I'll be using those for sure. And then we have, and I'll keep these in for now, we have these nice frosted divider tabs. And so one has budget, expenses, and debt. So I'll be using all of those to put the inserts in. Part of the deluxe box, you also get a decorative dashboard pack. And so you, first sheet is a vellum, and this is really pretty. A new era of me. Oh, I love that. Very profound going into the new year. And then we have this gorgeous um, dashboard that has the clouds and kind of looks like even like a sunset. It's just really, really pretty. That's nice with that layering. I think it'll look even cool with the other cover as well. The plastic cover. That's pretty also. I like that. And then we have this um, other dashboard in the pack that is a butterfly on one side. Or sorry, on both sides you have the butterflies. And that's pretty also. So there's so many options and I can't wait to kind of put it together to see what I'm going to do with this. It's really, really pretty. And let's see it under the vellum as well. That's very pretty. So many options. Next we have some um, other inserts and these are cool. It's like she's been putting these into her box or into the boxes that have kind of like prompts. So I like these. It says, Af this one is affirmations of wealth. There's a reading list and then there's some financial wellness prompts. And I like this because they're not necessarily, they're not dated. So these are something that I could do all year long. I can mark some things off as we go and maybe I do these more than once. So I think this is just cool just to have those prompts for using throughout the year. Next, I will open the accessory pack. There's always some really nice things in the accessory pack. So first there is a like thank you card and this is really cute. It's like a journal or a task card. Um, it says conquer. It's really nice. And then we've got an allegedly gray magnetic paper clip. I really like this color. Now I could see it in person. It's really pretty. It looks really nice with that. And then we have a few quote cards. I like how it says it's on. That's cool. And we cannot become what we want by remaining where we are. So good inspiration going into the new year. And then we have some transparent sticky notes, which I really like. And I tend to put these on my, um, use these on my hybrid dashboards that I get through Jane's Agenda just to track those quick to-dos in my inbox at work. And then we have this nice red myeliner pen or marker. So this is a really nice pink color, like it. Hope you can see it there. And then the last thing in the deluxe box is this calculator and I love it. I am a um, majored in finance, so I'm always doing things with numbers here and there at work. And this would be awesome on my work desk. So I'm excited to see this. It's really, really pretty. It will look nice on my desk. I thought in the sneak peeks that it was a lot smaller, but this is a really awesome size. It's very big and fits well for my fingertips. So I love this and I can't wait to use this. So these were all of the items that were part of the deluxe box. 
As I start to put it together, I'm going to reuse for this month my Notique cover to put that in. So I'll be moving all of that in here because I like this one and I kind of like when I was playing around with this a little bit, I like the way the colors kind of um, contrast with that black the brightness of it, the peacock. I like how it stands out amongst the black, so I'll be using this black one. Some other things that I'm considering adding into this month's um, setup. I do have some other page finders that I like, or that I have, so these two I could see being possibilities from previous boxes that I might use if I need additional um, page finders in there. So I thought this almost looked like peacock feathers, so really like this one. So I might decide on one of these that I might want to add. I'm also debating on one of two um, rings that I'll use. I used the red metal, of course, for the Christmas one last month or the December one last month. And I'm going to use one of these two. I, I like both. So I'll kind of play around with the glitter or the, the like dull gold as my disc. And then I've got like a plethora of paper clips that I might consider from a combination of some from Notique and um, Jane's Agenda that I might want to add just as I want to layer some of them. And then I'm excited to see if I can incorporate the Vellum monthly um, deco that I received from Jane's Agenda last month. I'm gonna make sure I have the right term for what this is called. It's the monthly De Vellum dashboard set. So I got the Art Deco style. So this one for January might look really nice in there. And then I also was able to get the monthly quick glance cards for 2024. So I'll try to see if I could throw these in there somewhere. And I believe that's it. So I'm going to go off camera and put my planner together for what it'll look like for January. And welcome back. I have put together my 2024 January planner and let's just get right back in. There you have it. Absolutely love this. I put the, um, the kind of journal card that came with it and then I tagged it or clipped it together with the allegedly gray magnetic clip that we got. And of course, could not go wrong with the peacock cover or the peacock dashboard underneath the plastic cover here so I absolutely love it I decided to go with the gold metal disc I just thought it looked really good with this combination here on the front and I'll just take you quickly through some of the sections that I set up um behind here I left the abstract and then I have the affirmations the reading list and then the financial wellness under here all right, and then in this section here, I layered the other cardboard dashboard and I put the page finder on top. I really like this combination. It looks like the butterfly is kind of floating into the sky. So I just really like this. The colors are amazing on this layering section here. Let's see some of my next sections. Here we have this layout or layering. I took the um, dashboard with the butterfly, covered it, layered it on with the vellum that came with it, a new area of me, and then I clipped that so then I can easily flip into it. The um, vegan soft, soft gray, I believe, um, magnetic clip from Jane's Agenda. So that worked well there. I did keep my um, marble inbox that I like to use for the month. So it's right here. I'm not going to show it as I have some things on here. And then I um, put the, the journal cards here as, as well as the sticky notes. So just put them inside of there. And then for this one, I did add the other page finder from a previous set. Because again, it kind of matched with that, that light blue, bluish color. So I just have an extra page finder here. And then I did put in the budget expenses and debit section. I did pull out most of the budget section. I only kept January and February as I don't think I needed to have all of them in there yet. So that's what I did with that. 
And then I layered on the back here, I was able to incorporate um, the January monthly vellum on top of the other abstract dashboard. And then I wanted to, of course, use these monthly um, calendars, quick at a glance calendar um, cards here, but I did cut it down slightly so that way you could see most of the J on here, but I really love the way this looked being layered. So there is my setup of my January planner. And, and I'll be putting it inside of here. And I did, I always keep the 0.4 Frixion pen. This is probably one of my favorite pens right now that we got from Jane's Agenda. And then I did add in a tool pen that has like the gold accent with it because I thought it matched really well with the color scheme here. So there you have it. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this setup. Um, all the items outside of the actual January 2024 box I have posted down below, but I hope you enjoy and I'm looking forward to using this. Um, go ahead and like the video and I hope what you saw today and it's great to see you and I hope to see you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.